434. Welcome to the Power and Victory Morning Devotional. The strategic key that you need to quickly go to the next level. Get ready. It's going to happen. You're going higher, my friend. 434. My Jesus lover. Real estate. Ambitious entrepreneurs. Come on. Right there. 434. In the book of Acts, chapter 4, verse 34. It says they sold land and homes. That's real estate. There's real estate in the Bible. And they laid the proceeds, the profits, the commissions, the money at the apostles' feet. The real estate was attached to the gospel. Is yours. So good morning, my Jesus loving. Real estate friends. We're talking about real estate with a reason. Prosperity with a purpose. Good morning. Happy Monday. Welcome to the Power and Victory Morning Devotional. How are you? Hope you had a great weekend. Jeff Lewis coming to you live from the Reddingtons. Maybe the most beautiful place on the earth here on the west coast of Florida. Here in the beaches of Tampa Bay. Caribbean blue water. Dolphins are jumping. Palm trees everywhere. How are you? Welcome. This is our Power and Victory Morning Devotional. We've been here live now into our third year every Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. 9 a.m. Eastern Time. These are 10, 15-minute short devotionals that are guaranteed to supercharge your faith. God wants to strengthen you today. Come on. We've labeled this the strategic key that not only you need, you're going to hear about it today. You're going to implement it today. God is equipping you to go to the next level. Come on. Get ready. God's getting you ready to win. Yeah. All I do is win, win, win. Woo! Come on. Who's ready for a week of winning? So glad you're with us. If I haven't met you, Jeff Lewis, me and my beautiful bride, we're down here in Tampa Bay. We met Jesus 32 years ago. That's like three decades plus. I was in a business meeting, wasn't in church, never heard about Jesus. I never went to church. And in a business meeting, I encountered Jesus. How about you? Have you ever had an encounter with Jesus? I'm not talking about just having a cross around your neck or a fish on your, your business card. I encountered Jesus. Jeff, I'll give you peace. I was hyperventilating on the Coliseum floor that day and uh, traveled the country from church to church telling everybody about Jesus. And 10 years ago, God opened up a door for us in the real estate business. And now our real estate business spans all around the country and God put on our heart to start this marketplace ministry called 434 Agents, which is based out of the scripture in Acts chapter 434. It says they sold land and homes. That's real estate. But what did they do with their real estate? They laid the proceeds at the apostles' feet. Their real estate advanced the kingdom. And today and this week, we're going to be sharing with you a strategic key that you need to quickly go to the next level. So, so glad you're here. You can type in the chat, what state are you listening to the broadcast from? We're going to jump right in this morning. Here's what we do. We're about to open up God's word. Supernatural things happen under the reading and hearing and understanding of God's word. The Bible says God's word is God breathe. It's active. It's sharp. So on the count of three, all around the country, we give the Lord a shout. A let's go. So come on. I want to hear a let's go. One. Two. Let's go. Come on. It's a marketplace revival. God's raising you up as an end time entrepreneur. So, so glad you're here. I want you to open up your Bibles to the book of Luke. Luke chapter five. Luke chapter five. Want to make sure that you uh, uh, join us all week. By the way, I want to share this right away. Um, if you've got any testimonies, you want to testify to what God's done in your life, in your business, in your spiritual life, in your family, you can email your testimonies to 434nation at gmail.com, 434nation at gmail.com. I've labeled this today. And again, these are short 10, 15 minute devotionals. So just buckle in for the next 10 minutes and get ready. God's going to bless you. In the book of Luke chapter one, this is one of my favorite passages. 
Jesus, it says, one day as Jesus was preaching on the shore of the Sea of Galilee, great crowds pressed in on him to listen to the word of God. Come on, the word of God deserves an audience. He noticed two empty boats at the water's edge, for the fishermen had left them and were washing their nets. Stepping into one of the boats, Jesus asked Simon, its owner, to push out into the water. So he sat in the boat and taught the crowds from there. So do you see that? That Jesus got into Peter's boat and he advanced the gospel from Peter's fishing business. And guys, we've shared this with you from almost day one. When you allow your real estate business, your enterprise to be a place that Jesus can advance his kingdom and his purposes, get ready. You're about to see what happens. So he stepped into his boat. What would it look like if Jesus stepped into your real estate business, into your enterprise this week? So he stepped into one of the boats. Jesus asked Simon, the owner, hey, sat in the boat. He taught the crowds from there. And when he finished speaking, now watch what happens to Peter's boat when he dedicates it to what Jesus is doing in the earth. So when he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, now go out where it's deeper, go out into the deep waters and let down your nets for some catch. Now, listen, he got divine instruction. Number one, come on, type in the chat, divine instruction. This marketing plan, these partners, come on, this, this strategy, come on, this opportunity. Yeah, he got divine directions. How many of you guys want divine direction in your real estate business? So now go out into the deep, cast down your nets and catch some fish. Master, Simon replied, this is Peter. We worked hard all night, but didn't catch a thing. You know, that's part of the curse. The Bible, you know, that God says he's put a blessing on his people. And outside of the blessing, people are under a curse. And part of the curse, go read it in Deuteronomy 29, 28 says, you'll work hard for very little. That's part of the curse. But the blessing is you'll put your hand to something and everything you touch shall be blessed. Come on, pound the heart button. Thank God that you're under the blessing when you give your life to Jesus, no longer under the curse. So we look at this. Master, we've worked hard all night and we didn't catch a thing. But because you say so, we will let down the nets again, right? Now, here's where I want to get to. And this time, their nets were so full of fish. Listen, how many of you know that you can do it under the inspiration of God and not out in the flesh? You can follow divine direction from God this week. Come on, I'm believing that for you. You can, you can get divine direction from God this week, implement it, and even if you might have tried it last time, this time, because you say so, Lord, we will do it. Now, listen, here's where I want to get to. I've labeled this the strategic key to quickly go to the next level. Look at this in verse six, Luke five, verse six says this. And this time their nets were so full of fish, they began to tear. What would it look like in your real estate business with the blessing of God to show up that everything is busting at the seams. How many of you guys want that problem? Their nets began to tear, and here it is. Verse seven, Luke five, verse seven. A shout for help to bring in their partners in other boats. They gave a shout out for help to their partners. Type in the chat, partners. They gave a shout out to their partners, and soon both boats were filled with fish and even on the verge of sinking. Both boats were full of fish. I've labeled this the strategic key for you to quickly go to the next level is partners, partnering, partnering. Notice this. So Peter was smart enough to say yes to Jesus. Thank God for Peter, right? That's it, Corey. That's it, Belinda. Good morning, everybody. Peter was smart enough to get the anointing and the anointed one into his boat, right? Thank God for that, right? Smart move. Get the anointing. Get Jesus in your enterprise, right? We've shared with you for over two years now how to do that. But now look at this. But now he was so blessed because the anointing, the power of God, the son of God himself was in his boat that his partner's boat, he called out for help, his partner's boats began to become so full. Now, I want to talk to you about these partners. First of all, how many of you guys ever went fishing, right? 
You ever went fishing and, you know, imagine that you go fishing with the guy that's like this. You know, we, we fish a lot down here on the bay, right here in the Gulf of Mexico. Amazing kinds of snook. And we catch some amazing uh, sea trout, some mangrove snapper, right? A lot of catfish too. But, you know, imagine if their partners were like this. Well, yeah, you know, uh, man, this ain't really the time of the day. And uh, imagine if they were partnered up with someone like that. Well, you know, uh, I mean, you know, we're just out here to have some fun, work on our tan. But, you know, we never really catch anything. Listen, who you partner with, if those partners had not partnered with Peter, but they had partnered with Joe Smokey, right? Smoking Joe down there, down at the bridge. How many of you know that their situation would have been completely different? Listen, who you partner with is absolutely critical for you to go to the next level. Look at these guys. These guys, here's Peter now. He had fished all night, hadn't caught anything. So you got to imagine his partners probably had the same problem as well. But Peter was wise enough to get Jesus into his boat. I want to just, I want you to focus not on Peter, but on his partners. So all of a the sudden they get a call one day. Hey, I got an opportunity for you. Hey, listen, I got an opportunity for you to come and partner with me. And guess what happened to those partners in a day? They had the biggest business day in their commercial fishing business because of who they are partnered with. Listen, who are you partnered with? Who are you partnered with? It makes all the difference in the world. Listen, you know how you know that goes that that holds true in marriage, right? I mean, listen, you know, for you guys out there, you know, married to that lady. Well, you know, never, never, nothing ever works out for me. Or she's just out drinking wine with the ladies and gossiping. And having that lady is very different than having a Proverbs 31 woman like I'm blessed to have in Melanie Dawn. Listen, who you're partnered with makes all the difference. And so I want to tell you, this is a, and we're going to talk to you about this week who you're partnered with, who you're connected with, who you're yoked with, right? The Bible says, don't be unequally yoked. Let me ask you this for the next three minutes. Who are you yoked with in your real estate business? Um, how, 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 how passionate are they about you prospering in a mighty, mighty way in your real estate business? Who are you yoked with? Yeah. Do you know that this, this is one of the greatest keys in my life? Listen, if you didn't get a copy yet of our new book, Kingdom Real Estate Secrets, you can get this on Amazon. Me and 14 other authors wrote about the best biblical insights that God has shared with us that we've implemented into our real estate business. Listen, three years ago, I partnered with a friend of mine who was selling 400 homes a year. 400 homes a year today he makes about a million dollars a month yes in real estate who are you partnered with now listen three years ago i was selling 20 30 homes a year here in tampa bay right all of a sudden i hooked my wagon to him now i'm doing real estate all over the country last i counted 22 24 states where i was just doing real how did that happen who you're partnered with doesn't just ring true in your marriage, but it rings true in your business. So again, imagine this, right? Imagine if you're connected with somebody, well, you know, we just got to hold tight right now. Interest rates are high, right? Inventory is low. Do you know that the blessing of God, there is a blessing. It's a tangible blessing. The Bible says in Proverbs 10, the blessing of the Lord makes one rich. Do you know that that blessing that power, that endowment, that empowerment from God to prosper. It says in Deuteronomy 8.18, remember the Lord your God, for he gives you power to create wealth. Do you know that you can hook your wagon with the blessing? And just like those partners that connected with Peter, your boat will become full so much quicker. I remember you know, years ago, I would read in the Bible that Jesus healed everywhere he went. He was healing everybody. And the people that I were hanging out with, nobody was getting healed. There was no blind eyes being healed. There's no deaf ears being healed. There's no cripples walking. 
And I found some people because I was hungry. I was curious. Let me ask you this. Are you hungry, curious enough to go investigate and look around? Where's the anointing? Where is the blessing? And hook your wagon there? Or are you comfortable just selling your 50 homes in your little neck of the woods and running around like a chicken with your head cut off? Who you partner with makes all the difference in the world. And I literally connected my wagon to people that were healing the sick. You saw last week, all of a sudden the blind started to see. Yeah, I saw, I've seen blind people see. Yeah, with hundreds of people around with testimony. Tumors dissolving. Yeah, cripples walking. Deaf ears opening. Lots of deaf ears opening. Why? First of all, Jesus is alive, isn't he? He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. The same Jesus that made those boats full and made those nets full is alive and well today. And I want to tell you, he's involved in the real estate business. Are you partnered with people? Listen, I believe this week, God is going to speak to you about strategic partnership for you to partner strategically. No, you don't just hook your wagon to anybody. Listen, I've had to say no to people. I want to make sure you follow me. Make sure you do this. Follow me on all my other social media because I'll put out other stuff that you may not see here. There's Instagram, Jeff Lewis, four, three, four agents. Go follow me there. You also can follow us on YouTube, Jeff Lewis, four, three, four agents. Listen, you get to do business and partner with whoever you want. Same with your marriage, right? Unless I guess you're in some third world where they have exchange, uh, uh, arranged marriages, right? But you get to choose who you're partnered with. You're not obligated to some brokerage or to some team or to some, you're not obligated even to some church. You get to choose. How you doing? And I want to tell you right now, and God's giving you an invitation that if you simply will begin to ask yourself, okay, Okay, are you going in the direction you want to go? Are you literally walking in the blessing that you want to walk in? If so, praise God, keep going, pour gas on it. If not, it's time for you to start looking, who am I partnered with, right? Who has that same spirit? Where's that company and tribe of people that are going in the same direction that I want to go? And listen, you might need to be bold enough to change your partnerships. Listen, we have a national team all around the country. National team of realtors, investors, and brokers. God is literally assembling the best of the best. Let me tell you this. I've had people not join me. Well, that means I'd have to change my business card. You believe that? Imagine Jesus saying, you know, they say, come follow me. And well, well I, let me go. I got, I got to take care of some business. I got to change my business card. Listen, you get to choose that. That's not the person I'm looking for. You get to choose who you're going to go take your promised land with. And I'm telling you right now, this is a strategic key that you've got to get straight. Who you're partnered with makes all the difference in the world. And we can go back and ask Peter's partners. Come on, pound the heart button right now. God is giving you divine wisdom and insight. If you didn't get this book yet, go get this. Kingdom Real Estate Secrets. Me and 14 other authors uh, all wrote in this. And my chapter even talks more about this. Kingdom Real Estate Secrets. You can go get it on Amazon. I think it's 10 bucks, something like that. 434, listen, pound the heart button right now. I'm going to pray for you that God directs you into godly divine partnerships. It's called being yoked, who you're yoked with. Jesus said, my yoke is easy. My burden is light. And I don't want you to miss all week. You know, we've got our power and victory morning devotional that you can actually go download our podcast Apple, Spotify, go look at that anywhere. And listen, I want to tell you about this financial partnering. This is what I did. I wanted to go heal the sick and I wasn't able to heal the sick. I, I tried. I wasn't. I got stories about that. So here's what I did. I found people that were healing the sick. I'm just telling you what I did. I found them on YouTube and I began to read their books. I associated with them on YouTube. I associated with them. You're going to hear about that. And I begin to open up my checkbook, me and my wife, and I begin to take my money and give it to them, sow it to them to help their ministries. Do you know what happened to me? All of a sudden, I started healing the sick. All of a sudden, under our ministry, blind eyes, deaf ears, cripples, tumors, 
Just, just how did that happen? How did that happen? Because you, who you partner with means everything. Now, listen, I'm going to give you an opportunity to partner here. This is an anointed marketplace ministry. The anointing of Jesus is on this ministry. It's not the only ministry, but it is. I want to give you an opportunity to partner. Not just once to partner here. We are bringing the gospel to the marketplace. So you can sow a generous seed and you watch what the Bible says. Not only will your money come back to you multiplied, right? The Bible teaches that, but the anointing of increase and and, and influence is going to come on your life in an increased measure. Who you partner with makes all the difference in the world. You can sow a generous seed at Venmo, the 434 agents, PayPal, 434 agents, You can mail a larger check to our P.O. box. You can mail any check. Most times people want to mail a check if it's larger. P.O. box 8052, Madeira Beach, Florida, 33738. 434, listen, don't miss all week. We're going to continue talking to you about this. We're going to open this up for you. Listen, God wants to bring increase and quickly for you. Quickly. Come on, everybody type in the chat. Quickly. He wants to do it quickly. I'm telling you. If I knew any other quicker way, I would share that with you. But this is the quick way. Who you partner with, just like who partnered with Peter, that is the quick way to go from point A to point B. 434. Invite all your Jesus-loving friends. Don't miss all week. We are going higher, further, and faster. And guess what? We're all doing it together. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.